All right, and so and now we move to uh, the epistemology, the, our, our, our knowing things. So God is not only uh, omnipotent, but he's also omniscient. As we have seen, he controls all things by his wise plan. Hence, he knows all things. All, uh, all our knowledge, therefore, originates in him. Thus, the fear of the Lord and the fear of Yahweh is the beginning of understanding, of knowledge. God is not only the origin of truth, but also the th supreme authority for knowledge. Authority is part of his lordship. Again, it doesn't exist outside of himself. He's not discovering things or he's not revealing things that are, that are uh, uh, separate from him, but from his knowledge, he is, is able to uh, reveal things. And within himself, he uh, exists all truth uh, uh, that, uh, that uh, he, um, he uh, makes known to us. And so uh, uh, that's uh, one of the benefits that we have of scripture is, is is uh is the truth and so the 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 fact that we can know things uh, uh comes from that very basis so authority is part of his lordship and god has the right to command and be obeyed he has therefore the right to tell us what we must believe mm, yeah and so um what about the other positions well rationalistic philosophy brain tells us declares human reason not god as uh as the final authority. Empiricism, uh, Frame tells us, recognizes the flights of speculation to which unbridled reason is prone and demands that all ideas be ultimately accountable to human sense perception. Mm -hmm. And then of course, skepticism recognizes that both human reason and sense experience are prone to error. Mm -hmm. And it declares, and Frame tells us on its own authority, right, <laughs> that truth is unattainable. Should we be skeptical about that claim? <laughs> <laughs> right. Yes, and therefore no, but then also then back to yes. Okay. <laughs> All right. So what's our job? Uh, again, uh, here's here's what we need to, to to do. Here's 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 our role in the thing. The apologist must not must not only refuse to compromise with these distorted epistemologies, but also summon unbelievers to abandon them. For such epistemologies are part of the unbeliever's sinful suppression of truth. Like the distortions in metaphysics, they represent his desire to escape from responsibility, to avoid hearing the voice of God telling him what to do. We cannot consistently issue such a challenge if, as has been often done traditionally, we build our own apologetics on one of those non-Christian epistemological options. And so, uh, again, uh, uh, building from a, presupp a presuppositional standpoint, uh, we're trying to put things in the best perspective of a scriptural response to unbelief. And again, th that's one of the reasons why Frame has written this book. And so uh, when other types of, of um, apologetic philosophies uh, tend to do is they tend to want to build on these other types of philosophies and, and have answers. And so we're almost uh, here putting the cart for before the horse of, <laughs> of, of saying, well, you know, we can kind of explain these things away and, 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 but, but there are issues. And so uh, when uh, Mitch Stokes, or I'm sorry, when um, uh, uh, Scott Christensen um, in his writing, he talks about like, uh, you know, in, in these different aspects, uh, these certain things have these benefits, but they're not the whole answer because here are the deficiencies. And here we can do the same thing. We can say, well, but by by uh, suppressing the truth and unrighteousness, they don't have the answer. But by suppressing it, they still have kind of a touchstone portion to it. So sense experience, we can know things from our sense experience, but can they also be susceptible so that we're the skepticists are right or are, are correct, and that we're sometimes incorrect? Well, yes, that's also true. And so, but there, there's not a complete answer with within that. And so here we're trying to say it's it's not all these. Um, uh, uh, different philosophies that we've we've come about, but they only have a, a, a small picture that the, the bi biggest and best uh, picture of the Christian worldview uh, allows these uh, uh, truths to operate in. And so um, that's where we're able to, as an apologist, to pinpoint and say, uh, that's a good point, but then let's let's take it a step further. Okay, you're skeptical of all truth. Is that also truthful? And so, you know, it, it, it's 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 one of our natures where we're saying, okay, you're you say that you can hold to knowledge in this category, but can it be applied to itself? And so, again, that's mm. what, uh, 
that's uh, what the presuppositional kind of viewpoint does before launching onto the to the next aspect of of the conversation. Yeah, yeah. 